Insect pollinators are vital to our food production and a range of other products. They are also essential components of our habitats and ecosystems. Worldwide, there is an alarming decline in pollinator populations, largely due to the loss of habitat. Pollinator habitat contains native flowering plants, host plants, and nesting sites throughout the growing season. Not only is this habitat beneficial for bees, butterflies, and other pollinators, it's also mostly compatible with managing energy and transportation infrastructure, and likely already exists on the lands you manage. Do you know how much habitat you have on your rights of way? The Pollinator Scorecard is an industry-driven and informed tool created by the Rights of Ways Habitat Working Group with the help of a diverse group of experts, including ecologists, foresters, researchers, and sustainability professionals. The scorecard offers a flexible, multi-tiered approach that provides a common language to talk about habitat on energy and transportation land. It establishes a consistent valuation method across right-of-way sectors that aligns with existing habitat assessments and supports shared reporting of habitat metrics across industries to facilitate learning and collaboration. The multi-tiered approach allows users of differing training and experience levels to evaluate pollinator habitat. Tier 1 can be completed by anyone with minimal training. In five minutes or less, this quick assessment serves as an indicator of the presence of pollinator habitat. With Tier 2, users are able to determine a basic habitat quality score. This assessment takes 10 minutes or less and asks users to identify the number of different plants in bloom and potential habitat resources. Tier 3 is intended for more advanced users. This assessment will take 15 to 20 minutes and provides a detailed habitat quality score. Users of this tier will need the ability to identify specific plant species, especially native nectar plants and invasive species. The pollinator scorecard assesses the quality of your current habitat on the ground, but what about its future potential? Using the accompanying management module, you can identify threats and opportunities present at a site or management area. Document the management actions taken to minimize threats and maximize opportunities, and evaluate the broad efficacy of those management actions. The management module and pollinator habitat assessment generate separate scores that together help you better understand how management and habitat quality affect each other. The habitat you create on linear corridors supports the life cycle needs of pollinators and directly helps to support pollinator populations nationwide. For more information on how to use the pollinator scorecard or management module, check out the user's guide on our website.